Hi guys, and welcome to another AliExpress Blythe Clothing Haul with me, Shira Star Hobby. I brought Kismet out because when I purchased the majority of these um, clothing items, I was thinking of her when I bought them. Um, I was also considering my Alinari girl, who is finished, and she's already on her way to me. Um, if you've seen her in Alinari's stories, she is the tan girl with the purple hair, and OMG, did she turn out amazing. I can't even wait to unbox her. I have been dreaming of an Alinari girl since I began collecting Blythe back in 2022, and every time she had one available that I liked, either she sold quickly or I just didn't have the money for her. So, like, it's always been, like, an ongoing thing for me to have an Alinari girl in my collection. And to be honest, she has a variety of styles um, that I would like one of each style, <laughs> but I probably won't be able to be able to get any, um, at least not for the time being. I still have my girl on layaway, um, and after I have the five girls that I have, I feel like that's a good kind of cutting cutting off point until I become more financially stable and can afford to, to keep buying. Um, that way I'll have, you know, a variety of artists within the five, um, and I'll be able to take lots of pictures because I'll have, a, you know, several dolls that I can play with. So as much as I would love to just keep buying dolls and keep buying dolls, I really can't. Um, once I finish selling off what I, what I'm planning on selling, um, from my ball jointed doll collection, um, that's pretty much it for funds. And I can't really, uh, see myself making any money in the future unless I somehow find a, a, a part-time or full-time job, which may or may not be an option for me. Um, and so anyway, I wanted to, this, <laughs> okay, so this clothing lot, there should be 18 pieces in this whole lot, and I have had them sitting in my AliExpress cart for probably months, and what happens with AliExpress is from time to time, they will have like a, like a sale on their items, so when I go to check out, they're never on sale. Um, <laughs> and so I was vigilantly, um, watching AliExpress and waiting for the specific time, um, when they were going to be on sale. And I purchased them then because I, I mean, I literally got all of this clothing plus two action figure bodies for my M Marina dolls that are coming. Um, for about a hundred bucks. And like, that is pretty good for me. Um, the, the, the bodies alone were like 60 something. So you can imagine how cool it was to get all of this clothing for about 40 bucks. Um, and so again, uh, I, I bought them mostly with Kismet in mind, my Alinari girl. Um, there might be some clothing items in here that would look cute on my piggy girl. Suey, um, but let's get right down to it. There should be 18 pieces, and with AliExpress, they try to, um, ship everything, uh, combined if they can, um, and so the action figure bodies came separately, but I believe all of the clothing items came together. Now, this doesn't look like a lot, so I'm hoping that I, all the pieces are in here. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and some extras. So, yay! I got everything I ordered, which <laughs> usually with my Blythe orders, they tend to come out fine. Um, with my one sixth scale action figure boy stuff that I've been, that I've been buying for my Marina boys, 
I've been disappointed. If you guys have seen those um, unboxings, you you know that um, a lot of m my items just didn't didn't come at all. <laughs> and in order for them to try to make up for it, they just offer you a coupon for your next purchase in their shops and I'm usually not down for that so um but these turned out to be they don't look like they're denim in the photos they looked like they're denim these two are probably re real jean maybe or at least like a faux denim um and of course I wanted this star short the star shirt I have been wanting this star shirt forever and every time I go to check out it's always sold out so I grabbed it as soon as I as soon as I could and here we got some extras so we got some hair clips we got a lollipop we got some socks I love this so these are wide leg you can see how they get wider as they go down and I think this style will suit Kismet and all in my Alinari girl um so I'm like super pumped about all of this let's check them out and I might end up depending on how long this video gets I might end up um just kind of speeding everything up so we've got velcro closures I would have preferred like the buttons or whatever but these are really, these look really nice. I think that the quality is pretty good. Um, and all of these items were probably in the, like most, like these ones were mostly like three and four dollars each. Um, the jeans or like these really nice pants, they tend to go for a little bit more, maybe like 10 or 12 a pair. Um, and that's why I like to wait for the sales because they'll usually go down to less than 10, which is very helpful when you're trying to save money, but still get a lot of bang for your buck. So, um, I am really, really psyched about all of this clothing. I've had it here for about a couple weeks now. I was waiting, um, for everything to come in and then I realized that everything had been shipped in one, in one package and I was like, oh. Well, there you go. So, super cute. Super, super cute. This, also Velcro. Okay, good. I was like, I hope that it, that it opens, because if it doesn't open, I'm going to have a hard time getting this up on the Blythe body. Um, so, very, very cool. Um, I've got plenty of shoes mostly from AliExpress as well. Um, so I don't really plan on buying any more shoes and I did get those other boots um, in my recent unboxing from the Ukraine. Um, there's not very many shoes that I'd like. I would like some high top like Converse type sneakers by some of our Russian um, and Ukrainian artists that are probably in the $50 range per pair of shoes. So I'm just kind of like hesitant. <gasps> Real working zipper. So yeah, I haven't placed an order with those artists because I, again, those, those shoes, I mean, I, I don't even spend $50 on a pair of shoes for myself. So <laughs> I'm just like, mm, I, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> um, I am dying to get into my trailer and try to find all of my other one-sixth scale um, Barbie clothing that I had made and like Petusa clothing. Petusas are uh, one-sixth scale BJDs by Atelier Mamoni. I had a lot of clothes made for them, but they should fit the Blythe dolls as well. So I'm like hoping to get into my trailer so I can find all of that stuff. And I do have to go through and look, um, cause I'm, I have a whole bunch of MSD BJD size clothing as well. That's one quarter scale. And, um, of course I don't have any more one quarter scale dolls. So I, I, I would like to be able to move that whole lot of clothing along. These are beautiful. I mostly wanted fall inspired outfits that would look great outside with the with like all the leaves changing and things like that 
and I love these like preppy type sweaters because you can you can pair them with a like a Peter Pan collared shirt and you can put the collars outside of of the neck hole and then you can even have like a long necklace or something and then they look really cute with like school type skirts like little pleated skirts or um even I mean even like leggings they look really cute with leggings and then you could do like some bunched up leg warmers and bunched up socks and then get some really cute boots and like there you've got a whole look you know and that's another thing about Blythe that I love because as much as I enjoyed <laughs> past tense dressing up all of my one six scale BJDs um they don't they don't have the same look that um that Blythe dolls have and I don't know if it's like how big their heads are and how everything looks out of proportion but still in proportion it's hard to explain uh like the Blythe dynamic is just it's amazing because they don't I don't know they don't look funny to me. Some, some people will, will look at them and they'll be like, oh, that's weird. Look at how huge their heads are and look at how small their bodies are. But then you're like, but it works. You know, they, they really look good together. This is the OB24 body and it is bigger, I feel like, than the standard A-Zone TBL body, which is the Pure Nemo body. Um, it might be like one or two centimeters taller, but overall, it gives Blythe a more mature look and she is slightly taller than your average Blythe because the body is, you know, taller. So I prefer the OB24 bodies um, now that I've had them. My Hey Bella Blythe girl is on the OB22 and I'm seriously considering buying her an OB24 just so that she can also have that height that I like. Um, my Sui is on the YMY 22 body. I don't know if the YMY bodies were made in 24 size. Um, they might be, they might not be. I think they're still fairly new. Um, but I like that body on her, so I don't plan on changing it out to the OB24. Um, I don't know what it is about that body. The only bad thing about that, that particular body is that, um, changing out the hands is extremely difficult. I've heard you have to, like, basically put the, the, the body in, like, boiling hot water so that it will soften the plastic so that you can quickly pull the other hand off and put the new hand on. And I just... That to me is very frustrating. Um, I, I had that same experience with um, a set of blind boxes that I bought, the little boys. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, the Adu Street series. I have that unboxing on my channel as well. Um, but that particular experience was hard for me because I don't like to especially with them being so small, like if they were bigger, maybe I, I wouldn't care so much. But, um, when you've got these tiny little hands and you're trying to be careful because the water is boiling hot <laughs> and you're trying to like remove things and trying to add things, it was just too much. But look at this. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Ah! And okay. So Technically, I, I placed four separate orders, but like I said, the clothing orders all came together in one. The shops all have very similar names, so I feel like you could probably find everything in one or two shops and be able to place an order that way. Um, I don't know. That's the only thing about AliExpress that kind of bugs me because I don't, I don't really know. Like, I, I try to find the cheapest of the same product. So other stores will have the same items, but they'll be like a dollar more or like 50 cents more or what have you. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I, I had to get some of these like long maxi fall inspired dresses. You can wear them 
with um, a jacket. You can wear them like this if it's still warm out. You can put them, you can put like a sweater over them. And I got them in three different colors because I had to get them all. I love them. They are so pretty. I wish I could find stuff like this for myself. Um, I don't do a whole lot of shopping for myself. I prefer randomly you know going online and seeing what's what's there or just if I just happen to be out and I happen to find something I like I'll buy it <laughs> but um I'm not a huge shopper for myself um clothes just don't really I mean I like clothes and I like to look cute but <laughs> at the same time I'm just like eh um so but my dolls are always dressed to the max um, so these last three items here are the same, but in different colors. And I had to get them because they come with the little mini skirt. Now, I didn't realize that there was words on there. I'm not sure what ode to the brain means, but, <laughs> but there's that. I wonder if they all have the same exact message on there. Uh, they might, because they were all from the same shop. And again, um, this is what I like about AliExpress because you can find, um, multiples of the same outfit in different colors and that way you can mix and match or, um, you can just have a variety. If, like if you like a specific style of clothing and you want all of them in every color, there you go. So again, I got a lot of mostly like... Not such bright colors because my Alinari girl will be my little goth girl. She'll be mostly in blacks, um, grays, maybe some whites here and there. Uh, definitely some purples because her hair is purple. And she's going to be amazing and I really, really can't even wait to meet her. I hope that she arrives soon so I can unbox her for you guys. I am trying to figure out... Um, cases right now because I only have the two carrying cases. I'm in the process of making another carrying case using one of my old uh, dolly pin bags that I'm hoping might could work because it's got the plastic cover on it. And so it's like a window so you can see the dolls through it. Um, and so it's that's still a work in progress, but if that works the way I'm hoping it works, I'll be able to fit two dolls in there. So then I only technically need one more individual case. So then I can have three girls in separate cases, and then I will have um, the two girls in the one case. So we'll see how that works. Um, I Like I said, it's still a work in progress, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing. Um, I will do a fashion show type photo shoot at the end here for you if you want to tag along or if you want to hang out to the end of the video and see all the different outfits. Um, I will use all three of the of my current dolls to model all of them. So yeah, I hope that you guys are all doing well. It's Friday. It's Fry Yay. And I am so jealous of all of our Blythe people and Dolly friends who are in Paris right now enjoying that beautiful city. And I hope that they're all having a great time at the, I think it's Paris Party and Play or Play and Party. I forget the name of the actual show. <laughs> but, um... I've already seen a lot of Instagram posts of people, you know, walking through Paris and all kinds of fun things and how cute all the dolls are dressed with little berets um, and like little I love Paris shirts. And I'm just like, you know, if I had a million dollars, I would so be there too. But anyway, um, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope all our friends in Paris are having a great time and have a great time at the show. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.